Hey, kia ora, Helen Brahms here with day two of my great adventure. But before I get started, I just want to give a huge shout out to everybody who has been private messaging me with great messages of support and love. All the comments that have been left on the two videos from the last two days, um, your love, your prayers, everything has been so heartfelt and greatly received and everything else. So I just wanted to say a big thank you uh, for everything that... Um, you guys have been um, supporting me with on this on this new adventure and journey as I close one chapter of my life and begin another chapter. So I was actually having my daily piece of chocolate and it happened to be a dove thing and in the middle of the dove thing they put a little saying on it and I like today's one because it said keep life moving forward looking back backward is only for time travelers. So I thought that was quite appropriate for today to keep looking forward and keep life moving forward. So what happened today? Well, today I spent some of the morning catching up on um, about a week's worth of work, <laughs> I think. So my um, huge thanks to all my clients who have been waiting patiently while we go through the move, um, while the move was happening and everything else. I truly appreciate your patience and um, putting up with having to leave voicemails and getting slow response on emails and stuff. I am getting through um, my emails and my voicemails and so um, be doing more of that again tomorrow as well then this afternoon I spent time working on the next part of the journey it's starting to come together but I'm still not going to reveal exactly what it is but I came across a slight dilemma I thought well while I'm in while I'm up here I might as well explore the area and see what there is to do and you know, I'm a traveler. I like getting into the into the local area and finding out what things there are to do. And so I went down to the information stand that they have there at the at the hotel here, and um, there was like nothing for this area where I am. There was all there was LA. There was um, um, San Juan Capistrano. There was San Diego. There was Temecula. Um, there's even Arizona brochures in there, and I know the people pay to put their brochures in there, but there was nothing for the area that I'm staying in. And I thought, wow. So I have a question for you. If I was to come and knock on your door, what would be some of the things that you would that you would want to show me in your area? Since hotels don't seem to have a lot of information there on their information stands, I was sort of like, wow, who can I ask in the, um, in the Lake Ellisonore um, area about what there is to see and do? because I don't know anybody in this area. Um, so if I was to come to your area, hey, Angela from Texas. So Angela, if I was to come and visit you, what would be some of the things that you would um, want to show me in your area that not many tourists would know about? So that's my question for you tonight. Um, it's just something I came across today and I thought I'm gonna ask people to see what they would want to show me in the area where they live. What is in your backyard? What is in your in your town, in your city that you live in that not many that's a really cool thing to see and do that not many people know about? Um, so that's that's a bit of a challenge for you for today. Um, I did find one thing that I do not like about my hotel room. I do have a downside to my hotel room. Right by the door, there is a light sensor. So every time you open the door, the light comes on. But you get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and what happens? You get blinded by the light. It's like, oh, really? And there's no way to turn it off. It's a light sensor. It's there in the, in the hallway there. So you walk around the corner from the, from the bed area into that little short hallway to go into the bathroom and get blinded by the light. And I'm like, I really didn't need that. So I found that out this in the early hours of the morning. But um, this morning started off great because I did not set my alarm. And usually... I'm awake before the alarm goes off, so I just use it as a backup in case I get really tired. Um, but this morning I turned the alarms off and I slept until quarter to seven. And some of you are probably going, that's not a sleep in. Well, it is for me because at quarter to seven in the morning, I um, am usually up and out and about um, starting my day already. I usually get up and uh, wake up between five and 5.30 naturally. Um, so for me to sleep till quarter to seven, that was a sleep in for me. So that was a victory. It's been a lot, an exhausting last few days. So it was nice to be able to do that. So um, my next part of my life is coming along quite nicely. There's a couple of things to be finalized. And once it's finalized, I'm going to make the big announcements and everything. I um, got to talk with my dear friend, mentor, um, Casey, Casey Eberhardt today. And we had a great conversation. And we even brainstormed a couple of ideas on things that's going to fit in with what's coming, um, what's going to be finalized in the next couple of days. So um, things are starting to pick up and get really, really exciting. And I can't wait to share it all with you. So you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. And I honestly don't know because 
um, the time of the finalization is not dependent on me. I would quite happily finalize it today, but there are certain steps that have to be completed before I can before anything can be finalized. So I'm sorry, you're gonna have to wait a little longer. Um, so have a, uh, it's been a super fantastic sparkling day. Tomorrow I am going, what am I going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow I'm gonna to do some more work, do some more catch up work. And then I have to head down to my storage unit, one to liberate Casey Kiwi. Um, he told me he's fed up with his little vacation. So go liberate him, pick up a couple of things from my storage unit that I didn't bring up with me. And um, hopefully by Saturday, maybe Sunday, Monday at the latest, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that we'll be able to do the big reveal and everything else and it's gonna be awesome. So thank you all for tuning in. I um, hope you're all having a super fantastic sparkling day, evening, wherever you are, middle of the night, early morning, middle of the afternoon, whatever time zone you're watching from. Um, oh, hey, Tara. Why, uh, well, thank you. Oh, believe me, it is amazing. It is, um, I am extremely excited about it and I can't wait to share it with everybody. So you're gonna have to wait a little longer, I'm sorry. But like I said, it's not, the finalization of it is not dependent on me. I'm having to wait on other people um, to finalize details before I can turn around and say what's happening. But um, it's going to be very exciting and I can't wait. So um, I'm going to sign off now. I'm going to go get some sleep. I'm actually feeling a little tired. It was a little, it was a very relaxing day. So I don't think my body was used to that after all the physical activity of the past few days. But, um, and I definitely did not get anywhere close to four or five miles in that I have been over the past three, four days. <laughs> I'm lucky if I walked a mile today. <laughs> Um, but have an awesome evening, everyone, and we'll see you all tomorrow. And always remember, no matter what happens, today is always super fantastic and sparkling.